Argo. Arrgh, mateys. Well, I've got zero percent efficiency right now because my Argo electric boiler is dead. I've got the power turned on, the safety switches. Good. Turn on the circulator breaker. TT thermostat circulator. And we've got it disconnected here, so nothing's going to happen. Oh, that circulator started up. Anyhow, I've got a problem here. Thanksgiving Day, I lost heat. Luckily, I've got an oil boiler that hadn't been run in five or six years. I turned the switch on and fired right up. Just cleaned the sections and put a new piece of insulation uh, gasket on to stop the fumes from entering the basement. And uh, my Argo electric boiler is dead. Thanksgiving Day. So I called them first thing Monday morning, which is today, December 2nd. And a new control circuit board, $270. And I have to wait for it to get shipped. And we're going to New York City tomorrow on vacation for a week or maybe 10 days. So i got to put oil in the heating oil tank. And that's going to cost, for 100 gallons, 400 liters, 300 and 400 bucks with tax. $400 instead of using cheap electric heat, which I'd use with my boiler if the control panel circuit board worked. Nothing energized. One of these gizmos here popped its cookies. I checked my over limit switches. I bypassed them. I just touched those two wires together and nothing. So something here died. One of these little gizmos. There's a couple of capacitors and they don't look like they've bulged. One there, one there. A couple of set points. I should just turn those for C and G's, shits and giggles. I should check the ohms on the thermostat, thermostatic switch. Not too good, huh? Put this in in January 2009. January 23rd, 2009. So it'll be five years old. Yep. But it only works four months of the year. No elements. I've got no heating elements energized. So it's a shame that I have to spend 270 bucks every five years for a new circuit board. It's not a very complicated circuit board. I wonder if someone knows how to fix this. I wonder if I send it back to Argo, if they'll diagnose it and see what happened. Could be one of these little capacitors. I don't know anything about electronics. It's not my game. I'm going to get a screwdriver and turn those little set point controls. See if something clicks. I'm back with my little screwdriver. Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. And I already touched my over limits together. And nothing happened. Let's see if I can do it again. Not going to be easy holding the flashlight and the camera. Touch these two wires together. Zzz. Nothing. Nope. Oh, there's the oil boiler. Working perfect. 